Morning guys, Dave here at Ashcroft Transmissions. So as we said a few weeks ago, I want to do a second video talking in a little bit more detail about how the ratio calculator on our website can be used for different vehicle scenarios um, to see if that can help you make a choice whether you want to re-gear with your transfer case ratios, your diff ratios or whatever for your specific application, whether you've changed tires or whatever else. So let's take a look at that. Hopefully you're familiar with this ratio calculator on the website or you've found it with this button here. Let's take a look at, for example, one of the common questions we get is a customer might have a stock TD5 Defender 90 or 110. They use it a lot on the road and they find it's revving quite a lot. So first thing we want to do is run through the transmission setup. Now that would have the R380 gearbox. Now to spec what you've got now as a starting point, you can always use the product finder here on our website. That'll tell you exactly what you've got. So this vehicle would have a R380 and it would be variant 68A, Defender TD5, and then it'll auto fill the ratios. Transfer box would be the LT230. Variant would be the type 43 Defender TD5. All coil sprung Land Rover vehicles, with very few exceptions, have the 3.54 ratio diffs. Tire diameter, if you're not sure of that, just check on your tire. Click Tire Size Calculator, which will take you to a different website. And we're going to pick a standard size of 235 8516. Hit Calculate. And we have a diameter there of 31.7. We're interested in that figure. Then click Calculate Ratios down here. The one I use as a datum is 70 miles an hour in fifth gear. So 2854. Let's remember that figure. So a lot of customers would say a TD590 is revving too hard on the motorway at 70. The easiest and cheapest thing to do is change the transfer case ratio. So the discovery would have the 1.2 ratio, for example. So you can pick any of these, say a variant 28, recalculate, and then let's see that RPM figure come down from 2854 to 2474. Now that's absolutely fine if you've got, for example, a healthy TD5 on standard tires and you're just using it as a light road car. For example, you're running down the motorway, you don't have um, a roof rack, you don't tow at the weekend or whatever, that would be absolutely fine. Now, just while we're on that subject, there are other things. All of these ratios, <clears throat> they're fairly subjective. What might be right for one customer isn't necessarily right for another. So we have to bear in mind other external factors apart from the gearing that was specified here, such as vehicle weight. Does it have a winch? Does it carry loads of tools around? We also need to think about aerodynamics. I know they're not great on a Defender, but does it always have a roof rack on? Does it have a roof tent on? Uh, something else, do you use it for heavy towing? Obviously, gearing is always a compromise. If you're using it to heavily tow, you're not gonna get great MPG if you up the gearing. You're just gonna uh, be overloading the engine, it'll be laboring. Um, the other thing you might want to bias your figures on, by making these adjustments here, you're never going to exactly get it back to stock. You're always going to be slightly under or slightly over on the RPM because we only have a limited number of variables. So then you want to take into account what the usage of the vehicle is. Are you just using it to run to local pay and play days? Are you using it just to potter around the village, not do a lot of mileage? or are you using it for a long haul motorway car? These are all considerations kind of outside of this that you need to bear in mind. So just going back to this scenario. So we have a TD5 Defender with a 1.2 ratio and we, by changing that transfer case, we have changed the RPM from 2854 at 70 miles an hour in fifth to 2474. And that would be an ideal scenario, which has been done many, many times over for a light TD590 that's being used on the motorway. So that'd be a perfect solution for that. Let's say you have some of those other factors. You tow a little bit, but not too heavy. You carry some tools around, whatever else. 
We now offer a ratio in between, which will give you a compromise there. Between the 1.4 and the 1.2, you have our special 1.3. So let's hit that, click Calculate Ratios. Now you'll find that figure is pretty much bang in between at 2634. So that might also be a good compromise in this scenario. Bear in mind, whenever we, whenever we change the transfer case, we're only changing high range here. Low range will stay the same. So just bear that in mind for the second scenario. So we're going to talk about a 300 TDI manual discovery that we have put 35 inch tires on and found that it is now gutless on the road because we've overgeared it because of the tires. So uh, we have an R380. The 300 TDI Discovery has the Type 55A. We have a transfer box, the LT230. Standard transfer box here would be the 1.2, the 28. We have 3.54 diffs, but we've put on big tires, 35 inch for example. Calculate the ratios. Okay, so now we can see at 70, we're down to 2240. It's too low. It won't pull it in a headwind. It won't pull it up a hill unless the engine's radically tuned. You're just gonna be laboring the engine. And what will happen in reality is you'll be driving along, you have to rev it hard in the gears. You'll put it in fifth and it will start to die in fifth, especially when you see a hill or a headwind because it just doesn't have the, um, it's just overgeared basically. So two options we can do there. We can do the opposite of what we did in the first scenario with the TD5 Defender. And if we're only worried about high range, we can just lower the transfer case to the 1.4 ratio and uh, watch that 2240 down here. When we hit calculate ratios, that will go up to a more sensible 2585. Now that will be absolutely fine on the road and you'll be able to use that um, as long as the vehicle isn't too heavy or towing. Your only other option after that is to go even lower to the 1.6 ratio and that will go up to 3056. Now that is a lot when you're doing 70, but bearing in mind with 35 inch tires, you might be happy cruising at 60. That's more sensible at 2620. Also, if you've got 35 inch tires, you're not gonna be using it all day on the motorway. So you're gonna be using it relatively locally, doing short runs or trailering it to events or whatever else. So that might actually be a good compromise for the, um, to go with the 1.6 ratio to get your RPM at 2620, cruising at 60 miles an hour. Now that's fine if you only care about high, but let's say you want to make adjustments for your high and low range. So if you want to adjust your low also, let's put this back to where it was with the 1.2, but now let's drop our diffs to, for example, 412. Now click calculate ratios, and we have gone to 2607. Now in the blurb up here, we suggest, and this is just a suggestion, you wanna be around 2700. Now, as we mentioned earlier, that's not the same for everybody. It depends on other external factors. 2607 isn't, isn't bad. But again, if you've got those big tires and you're gonna be happy cruising at 60, you might wanna go even lower because that is still relatively low RPM at 2200 at 60 miles an hour. So you could go down a notch to the 4.37. Calculate ratios. That might actually be a better compromise for this vehicle with the 35 inch tires, especially bearing in mind, you're not gonna be using it for long motorway hauls. Um, so that is a, a different way. We've left the transfer case as it is. All we've done is drop the diffs. So the effect of that doing the diffs, it's a bit more work, it's a bit more money, but you've managed to correct both high and low range. If you hadn't done that and just done the transfer case, you would have just affected the high. You would have suffered when you're off-roading with the downhill engine braking. That's the advantage of going this route. So let's just look at one more quick scenario, and that would be a compromise of the two. So let's go back to, for example, having the TD5 Defender. We've got the 68A. We've got the 43 1.4 transfer box. We've got standard diffs at 3.54. 
and we've got standard tyres, which I think we said were 31.7, assuming we've got 285, 85, 16 is a fairly standard tyre. So let's click calculate ratios there. And we're back to 2854. Now, what we said earlier is to get those revs down when you're running on the motorway, you can just put the 1.2 in there. The issue is sometimes, let's say you are occasional towing, your fifth gear might be okay if it's a relatively light car. But this also makes your first gear higher as well, don't forget. So what other customers have had good success with is going with the one, and this only applies if you're changing your R380 and LT230, but you can go halfway with the 1.3, calculate ratios, 2634, but let's say you still want a slightly lower RPM in fifth. What you can do to see what that would do to just fifth gear alone, you would select the Type 53A R380 because that's the only one that's got this high ratio fifth gear. Click Calculate Ratios and that will keep your first to fourth all the same with the 1.3 but we've lowered your rpm in fifth by fitting the high ratio fifth and now you'd be cruising it 2504 rpm so that's another option which does work well for some customers but it's very difficult for us to advise on every setup because we do find that this is subjective what one customer might like another customer might not like but you have to bear in mind those other factors that we've mentioned more than just the numbers that's vehicle weight aerodynamics towing and usage hi so i hope you find that helpful uh, should you have any queries by all means drop us an email or comment on the video and we'll do our best to assist thanks very much guys